Last we left our hero, Callard of Garmont, he had just recruited a new physician. After spending some time talking things over and getting to know one each other, the ready to set out once again. The physician, not knowing anything about personal space, has already crowded Callard far too much. Let's go ahead and jump back over to our uh, over town view menu thing. Um, is there? There is a lovely tournament here, so let's get started with that uh, for the beginning of our episode. Looks like we have a, a good uh, smattering of folk to fight right out the gate. We'll get the max bet going on here. Um, I really think that um, getting a, a lot of really good tournaments under your belt is a really good way to get a lot of early experience. Um, oh, -ho! Callard goes for the head immediately. Sorry, new physician. Clean that wound. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, something I'm quite good at. And missing as well. Oh! My horse! My... How, how dishonorable is it to stab another man's horse? Especially in the middle of, of a heated little tournament here. Oh, missed that. Keller clearly needs some uh, some work when it comes to the pole arm already. He's still a young knight, not an old knight, but a young knight. This one should be a hit of Landy and Gallant, and I'll take a, a straight swipe to the center of a concrete wall right there. Yeah, go ahead, block the pelvis. That won't help you. For my stabby stabby poke stick, my chivalric poke stick. The lady! The lady! The lady once more. Okay, maybe you're gonna keep blocking it, but the lady this time. And now this time. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good. Thank you. Thank you. I needed, I didn't really need the assistance, Imperial Infantryman, but Callard never turns down a helpful hand in, hand in time and need. God, this is disgraceful. I'm sorry for the palpable hit upon the head. And over upon the ear. Oh, on that ear too. Aha! Thrice I have hit thee. Imperial Sergeant. The dreaded left shoulder blade shot. Not heard of in today's military combat, but it is a dreadful one the less. So it's down to you and me, Imperial Infantryman. First you are my ally, now you are my enemy. Aha! Okay, that, a, a good hit. Oof, he chambered my shot. Oh, oh! I mean, oh, my lady. That was a really heavy 58 hit to the side of my face that I took quite well. I, I, I must say so myself. So some reinforced padded mittens to get us started out here. Um, some people were asking just a little bit about the difficulty. Campaign options, we are on fully realistic. This is the first time I'm playing everything on realistic and not just the com the uh, combat AI difficulty. Um, if you're brand new to the game, playing on easy, I think is a very good way to get acquainted with everything. And it's actually a pretty good challenge still. Um, if you're if this is the first time you're ever playing a mountain blade, I think you will still find uh, plenty of fun things to do on easy. So nice reinforced mittens look great. I'm looking like I'm ready for my first baseball game, but Go ahead and let's see what else we've got here. Brush my memory. Nothing, nothing of, of consequence. So, we uh, last we left off, we were in Ortizia. And we do have our na our uh, next companion with uh, Kearis, the scholar, who is, again, he's going to be our physician. He's not going to be on a horse. We're going to try to look for um, mounted lords and generals of the night um, to join us. So, let's go ahead and head on back to Valandia. <clears throat> so... This episode, what I want to really focus on is building up my army a little bit, getting to clan rank tier one. Oh, we've, got, we've done tier one. Good. So let's get some more dinar. And we're probably going to be able to do that by running a, qu a couple quick trade routes. That's a good way to kind of do things in the first initial portions of the game. Um, I don't mind just traveling to these locations, but anytime it's just going to be me traveling. Uh, if I'm not doing some sort of exposition, I'll go ahead and fast forward guys as always um, a lot of you guys have really liked this uh, campaign so far so any things that you really like or that you're really enjoying um, just go ahead and let me know and I will try to focus on more of those uh, throughout the campaign 
here. See, I, I, this, this, uh, the whole padded leather shirt, while nice, is not necessarily the most knightly of gear. Looking like we have too many options, though. We do need to get more money anyway, so let's not let's not go crazy. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the local towns. Kaliaka, a place of my youth that I've never been to before. We shall see. Uh, let's actually disable that. Hubyar, I get it. Um, anything fun here? So, family feud and train troops for Galric of Kaliak. That is not a fun quest. I almost never recommend it. Let's grab him. Worthy, uh, a worthy addition to our army. Levy crossbowmen. Uh, someone made the uh, suggestion of filling up my army with some peasants. Very Bretonian-like, right? I'm all about it. So we will start uh, picking up some peasants next time we find a, a group of looters that hopefully have some peasants. So, kind of mosey on through here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this right now, and we're going to jump into either uh, a good first mission, maybe a bandit fight, something like that. So we'll uh, be back in just a bit as we fast forward to some finding something of the sort. So I did a little trouncing around. We found some a lot of bandit hideout clearing out, and these are mountain bandits, and they're pretty jacked. So let's go ahead and actually do uh, Normand of Merak and do this family feud. These can sometimes be pretty good, so let's go ahead and jump into one of these. Hi, sorry, I don't think I know you. Uh, my name is Callard, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Normand. I own a land around here. I speak for many of the people of this village. You, know, you also have a, a speech impediment. I, I know your name. It's good to meet. I heard you may need some help with a problem. One of my uh, relatives uh, fell uh, victim to his uh, tempers during a quarrel in the uh, fight uh, and killed a man from uh, Nogrench. Uh, we have uh, offered to pay uh, blood money, but the family of the deceased have stubbornly refused. As it turns out, the deceased is kin to Erdogan of Nogrench, and an elder of this region, and now the men of Nogrench have sworn to kill my relative. That, this, that sounds extremely pretty serious. Go on. And my family is uh, concerned for the boy's life. Uh, he has gone hold, hiding around the village commons. Uh, we need someone who can protect him until Erdogan of Nogren accepts the blood money and ends the feud. Uh, we will be eternally grateful if you can help my relative and take him with you for a, a while maybe. Uh, uh, you have you have a, a, a peculiar way of speaking. You you grunt and you slurp a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, well, what else can I do? Uh, you can keep my relative under your protection for a time uh, until the calls for vengeance die down. Uh, maybe you can leave one of your warrior companions and five men with him to protect him. Oh, he's a physician, not a warrior companion. So uh, don't worry, I will protect your relative. We would be eternally grateful if you could help my relative. I, uh, <clears throat> I have to add, I'm ready to pay you 500 dinars for your trouble. He is hiding somewhere here. Uh, go talk to him and uh, <clears throat> tell him he is safe now. Yeah, and uh, fix the snorting and chortling you got going on. So what? what is this gentleman's name? It is... Oops. There we go. Family feud. We have agreed to talk to Oto in Merak. What a fine fair Oto. Yes, hello peasants. A knight in padded armor. Great for everyone to see me. Uh, not that I am privy to such things, but you might want to go ahead and put that fire out if those chickens are done. No one's watching it. This looks hazardous. On my way, madame. Right, over to Oto. And again, a huge shout out for the awesome banner here. The Knights of Bretonia ride the Oto the Lionhearted. Alright, Oto. Prepare for the hard stop. Yes. Like that? Impressed? Let me dismount. I'm gonna get back up, though. I, I'm, I'm a knight. I talk to you from horse. Uh, 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 who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Relax, relax. Uh, you squeaky voice, you're freaking me out. I've talked with your relative, Norman of Merok. I know all about the situation. 
And uh, will you protect me, please? Yes, I will. Come now, I will take you with me to Edrand of Nogrent to resolve this issue peacefully. <laughs> no way! I won't go anywhere near him. Uh, they will kill me! Y you can't hide in the shadows forever, boy. I can't protect you forever. We have to solve this somehow. Also, I give you my honor as a knight of the Order of the Lionhearted to protect you if things turn ugly. I'm, I'm still not sure about all this, but I trust you. Let, let's, let's go get this over with. Okay, wet yourself. So our family feud has been updated. Let us go to the mighty village and see how we can resolve this. After a short jaunt, we make our way to Nogrent, just north of Galland. Well, well, <laughs> what do we have here? Did you bring your funeral shroud with you? <laughs> I hope so. You're not leaving here alive. Oh, we've come to talk. Just listen to us, please. I knew we'd find you eventually. Now, you fight justice. Wait. The slide is now under my protection. You've come to talk in peace. <laughs> what is there to talk about? This bastard murdered one of my kinsmen, and it's our right to take vengeance on him. Um, I'm not convinced. I, I'll, I, you know what? You're breaking the law. Maybe. Let's see what you will come up with. All right, so let's look at our options here. We got a 74% chance success here, so I think this is a good one to go with. Blood money is appropriate for a crime of passion, but you kill this boy in cold blood, you'll be a real murderer in the eyes of the law, and will no doubt die. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> you might be correct. All right, and we'll do the 59. A good, I think that's a good call. Someday you may wish to save the life of one of your sons through blood money. If you refuse mercy, mercy may be refused you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was that was bad. Well, we've got a 9% chance here. I promise to protect the boy at the cost of my life as my knight on my honor as a knight. If you try to harm him, you will bleed for it. Like we're fighting this one out. Well, I don't think so. Revenge will be taken. Save your breath for the fight. If you defend a murderer, then you'll die like a murderer. Boys, kill them all! Oh! Uh, I need to pull my shield out for this. That boy is getting massacred. Okay. Well, we did our best. I think, I think that's all that matters in this situation. Um, well, let's just go ahead and leave. Where's my physician? Uh, Kiaris, let's, let's go. Let's go. We're out of here. Leave. Quick, 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 quick. Well, in a sudden turn of events, we will not be succeeding in that family feud quest. We're going to mosey around here for a little bit and find us some looters to attack. I think that's probably the most pertinent thing to do now that we've uh, completely botched the family feud. So we'll just kind of speed up here, find us some, uh, some looters and do some fun killing of stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and speed this up. Aha, uh -huh, looks like we've caught our first band of the day. Go ahead and attack these guys. You know, we'll probably actually do some uh, some fun killing. Um, do some more tournaments too today. Here. Kill them all! Let's just go ahead and charge in. They're just looters, right? What could, how, how scary could they really be? Aha! We want to find the ones with the peasants though. That's, that's going to be the real, real treat. Uh, typically, you know, you'd want your guys to really kind of get in there up close and personal and do the damage here. Um, I also have to level my character, though, so I'm doing some of that myself. Uh, blank stab into the middle of the air. I'll take some prisoners here. Um, as as you guys have pointed out, it is very chivalrous to take prisoners. Typically, you would do it, of course, of noble people, but you know what? Knights can't be choosers. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll continue to kind of fast this forward, 
or uh, fast forward here, and every time we find some looters, we'll take a stop. All right, we got a juicy target. This is a big group of bandits, so it'll probably hurt my men a lot. But I think it's a good one to do. Um, typically, you know, you, you probably saw me doing sending troops. Uh, I just wanted to get some quick levels on my guys. And I'm trying not to just go ahead and um, blitz through leveling them up. Oh, good. Uh, horses on a hot tin roof. Cool. So I'm trying to kind of give them some, some pacing so that um, they level up in groups. And I'll explain that in just a little bit when we finish this fight. Man, my horses follow. Oh, no! Follow me, don't advance. Typically, I like to have just horsemen stay on me. Um, I'll typically keep my um, infantry in a shield wall. Form a shield wall! But. Probably not going to be the best bet here. Yeah, as you can see, we've already lost two recruits. Oh, I've taken shots in the chest. And I've missed more shots than I want to talk about. I'm still a new knight. I'm still a new knight. No one, no one judge me for this. I have a barnyard door for a shield. Bushwhacker there. Trade out of Australia. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Shield up right the last minute there. We've taken four kills. This has been pretty disastrous. Oh. Oh. I've taken a shot in the head. Quickly. Do something. Anyone. Yes, archers. Kill. Good. Just as I just as I planned. Callard of Garamon is no stranger to getting shot in the head. And my horse being shot many times in the back left thigh is undoubtedly part of my chivalry. It is it is part of my training as a knight. Where's my body? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's just let's just leave this war-torn battlefield. I did lose a squire, which is unfortunate. We're gonna have to try and find some more of those. I think I've lost a footman. I did. All right. So I'm gonna show you what I've got planned here. Let's see if Nogren's got anything to recruit after I've butchered the whole entire process of uh, recovering things over there. Train troops and a bandit base. Well, the bandit bases are pretty challenging unless you have a, a I'd say like good tier two or tier three set of units. Um, and Callard has yet to really kind of uh, get that going. Uh, we need to get a lot more reputation. We have to get... Uh... Ah! Herobert of Furbeck wants his daughter found. Let me tell you, Herobert, I used to be quite the detective as a squire. So let's talk to Herobert of Furbeck. Uh, this is one of the easier and better um, initial quests to do. Uh, right now, we're two for two on failing our endeavors between fighting forest bandits and a family feud, but Callard is no stranger to failure, and a knight perseveres through anything. So let's talk to Herbert of Furbeck. Ah, sorry, I, 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 don't, I don't think I know you. My name's Callard, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Herobat. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I know your name. It's good to meet. I heard you may need some help with uh, a problem. Perhaps your daughter? Yes, I've uh, suffered a great misfortune. My daughter, a, a headstrong girl, has been bewitched by this ne'er-do-well. I, I told her to stop seeing him, but she wouldn't listen. I, she, now she's missing. I'm sure she's been abducted by him. I, I'm offering a bounty of 1652 in dinar to anyone who brings her back. Please, sir, don't let a father's heart be broken. Tell me more. Tell me more, Herobert. Calm down. Calm down. What's what's wrong with the man? Everything is wrong. He is from a low family. The kind who is always involved in 
some land fraud scheme or, or, or scene dealing with known bandits. Uh, every village has a black sheep like that, but I never imagined uh, he would get his hooks into my daughter. Don't worry. Either I or one of my companions, as I casually look over to Quiris, or maybe just me, will be able to find her and see what's going on. If you send your best tracker with a few men, I'm sure they will find my girl and be back to you in no more than two days. Uh, Quaris, uh, he could find a, a wound, but he could not find a person. So I should be able to find her and see what's going on. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I, I still were, am very worried uh, about my girl, uh, Drusabalda Drusa the Wainwright. Please find her and bring her back to me as soon as you can. All right. Looks like we have another task here. So let's see uh, about not failing this one. Hello, peasants. Hello, peasants. Yes. Uh, let it be known that I am a knight of no renown or influence yet, and I have lost some battles, but not all. Uh, let it be known that I have won against every band of looters I've come across. Forest bandits, though, are my new arch nemesis. Right, Blandian peasant? I was wondering if the... If, uh, no, I don't want to follow you. Although I think that's a really cool mechanic. Um, I was wondering to see if you could you could recruit peasants from the actual uh, um, towns themselves without actually having to go through a process. So, I have no scouting capabilities, so this is going to be an interesting endeavor. All right. So they saw a young man and woman ride in, in the early morning. They brought, or they bought some supplies. Ooh! They bought some supplies and trotted off towards Nogrint. Okay. Up to Nogrint we go. And it's a, a short jaunt. It's a place of many woes for me. A place that I have not been successful in any endeavor. So, Herbert of Furbuck's kidnapped daughter at Furbeck. You ask around the village if anyone saw Drusabalda the Wainwright or some suspicious characters with a young woman. Villagers say that there was a young man and a woman who arrived here exhausted. The villagers allowed them to stay for a while. You can check the area and see if they are still hiding there. We're going to go ahead and search the village. Nice, quaint village here on the coast of Valandia. Aha. Uh -huh. I see she's over there. Don't mind me, plodding through your fields. I'm helping. My horse is known for its jumping capabilities. Go up to this guy. Or let me go to a... I mean, I, I know I can find him on the map easily by pressing Alt, but... Ah, Malbert of Nogrint can't be trusted. Uh, my apologies, sir. May I help you with something? Were you just saying that to yourself idly? I'm looking for someone. Uh, who are we looking for? I'm looking for Drusabalda the Wainwright. Yes, I know Drusabalda the Wainwright. Uh, can you can you take me to her and can you stop talking to yourself? Sure, follow me. Peasants, Quaris. You're out of control. He's in no sense of urgency to show me the location of uh, Grizabalda. Jezebella Balda. Quite familiar now with my horse's rear area, and it's starting to really upset me. Night. Away from my horse. Lovely, uh, lovely time of year. Huh? Don't talk much, huh? Hey, this is a responsible village. Look at that. That's not a fire that's just raging without, you know, consent or without uh, uh, people watching it, anything like that. It's under control. See, our peasant is a drunk. Got lost around the kegs. Still not his, uh, not his best ability, but you know what? He's doing his best. Certainly not the best tour guide, are you? Forget I said anything. You don't have to run away at my comments. A lordly, knightly, uh, uh, you know, joust, a barb, a witticism, as it were. Hmm. Well, I think uh, I think I'd take this from here, peasants. This looks like a, a conspicuous place to hide someone. And with my health dangerously low, it only turn out well. So, we have Colson the Rock. We have Jezebella or Jezebella. 
All right, who are you? Are, are you one of the bounty hunters sent by Herobert of Furberg to track us like we're animals or something? Look, friend, we have done nothing wrong. As you may have figured out already, this woman and I, we love each other. I didn't force her to do anything. And he's right. I, I ran away with him willingly. I love my father, but he can be such a tyrant. Please, sir, if you believe in freedom and love, please leave us be. All right, well, how do I know he's not forcing you to say that? Please, sir, I love him truly, and I wish to spend the rest of my life with him. I beg of you, please don't stand in our way. Uh, but I've promised to find you and return you to your father. He would be devastated. Yes, he, he would probably be sad, but not because of what you think. See, Herobert of Furbeck promised me to one of his allies' son, and this will devastate his plans. That is true. He cares nothing about me, only about his reputation in our district. Well, that is a sudden turn of events, but perhaps he made those plans because he loves you. I see. Okay, well, maybe, um, maybe, uh, but maybe, but maybe, but that is your duty to your family. That's your duty to your family. Oh, I didn't like that one, huh? You don't think so, right? Okay, well, um, you know what? Do you think this one will be faithful to you over the many years I, I know a rogue when i see one trust me i i i'm a knight i'm a knight i'm a knight trust me trust me on that one i don't think so okay all right well you know what you want to marry a corpse because i'm going to kill your lover if you don't listen you don't think so you heard about the force bandits didn't you no no it does not make sense i will not abandon my love i'm i'm sorry but I gave a promise, and I don't break my promises because I'm a knight, and I can't even kill forest bandits. I'm no child, sir. Draw your weapon. I challenge you to a duel. Uh, this will be a massacre, man. More, Not a duel, but I'm fine with that. Bastard. Aha. We both miss. I won't get off my horse. You're a peasant. I shall stay here. Well... I hate you. You killed him. I can't believe it. I will hate you with all my heart till my dying days. Someday, you'll see that I did you a favor and killed that peasant. But pack up. We need to go, young lady. What choice do I have, you heartless bastard? I didn't use a voice for those two. I felt like, felt like that was a, too much of an exchange to really go voice crazy. But now that we have her... Let us return to the fair town of Merok, where this devious, devious man has his way. You ask, ooh, oops, that's, this is the wrong look. This is the wrong, wrong location. We have to go to Furbeck. Boris, you have to remember these things for me. I clearly am still suffering from a head injury from the bandits. Go talk to Huthbert here. Did you bring my girl? Yes. Here she is. Oh, I have a voice for him. Sorry. Thank you for your help. Eh? Here, take these 1652 denies. Thank you. I've successfully rebuilt my clan at the same time. So let's travel around the countryside looking for another tournament or two. And let's get into another squabble with some looters. And before we do that, though, let's jump back over here and look at the party screen. I want to kind of explain my rationale behind what I'm doing. So I want to hold off on recruiting these guys one at a time. I want to upgrade them in batches. And the reason behind this is because the experience bar there, it fills up more if they're in a group. Um, and it's not necessarily that it fills up more. It's just that when they're grouped up together, they're going to share their experience across the whole entire group of them. And if you don't, uh, if you don't upgrade these guys one at a time, they won't get focused down as quickly. If you have too many guys on a one or two off like this uh, Vlandian footman, well, it's one Vlandian footman and six recruits. So there's a chance that he could actually just get completely killed. So doing it in a, in a group will maintain their kind of cohesion. And the Valandian footmen, we're probably going to put all the way into the Valandian infantry, down to the Valandian swordsmen. Um, and we might actually even stop there. The Valandian sergeant does sometimes have a shield. Uh, he's got like three little loadouts that he comes with. Uh, it's a mace here, a pole arm. And I've, I've heard, of course, that he has a shield, like three or four loadouts. And they're ver the items and his weapons are random. So the Valandian Sergeant's not the best 
person because I actually like having a nice shield on my characters. Um, the bows and arrows do quite a bit of damage. So we're going to go ahead and press fast forward here. I'm going to try and search around some cities, find us a tournament, and we'll see what we can do to do some more tournament action and some more looter play. Probably a good idea to do this right now, too, though. So let's go... Oh, get that. Vigorous, a 6% bonus to our hit points for riding. And again, uh, if I haven't gone over this, we're going to be going heavy into one-handed and polearm with riding as well. Um, we'll be doing... Have, we'll have our good bonus from Steward as a quartermaster. We'll be gaining charm and leadership as we kind of deal with royal, with um, leading armies and with talking to other notables. Let's see how that kind of uh, progresses here. And we're actually going to pop uh, our other focus point into one-handed, and it looks like all here. Let's go ahead and go searching around, and we'll go back to fast forward. All right, we'll go ahead and fight this one. Uh, oh, infantry! Attack! Cavalry! Attack! Unfortunately, this is not a couch man. A coward cares not! Oh, take that, looter! What do your pebbles have to do? Watch out for my other cavalry. Oh, oh, oh. Finish it up, boys. Mop it up. Clean up these brigands. A nice tally and a good neigh for the horse. We won indeed. We won indeed, fellow, fellow Valandian. For the lady. Oh, that's what we've been waiting for, is a ton of peasants. These are Britannian peasants. I do really want Valandian peasants, but it will do for all intents and purposes. Um, we see Lord Durthart here, though, so let's go ahead and try and talk to him if we can. He's going to get to Sargo by the time we can get there, um, but I don't... Oh, Durthart, come back. So we'll talk to Durthart, and we're, we want to kind of jump a little bit ahead with our uh, Nerete's followers quest here. We're actually probably going to... Let's, let's jump back here first, because we're getting slowed down pretty significantly by our prisoners. So... Normally, if I was the mercenary or if I was a uh, vassal, I would be donating these prisoners. But I am a knight, and I do like to get some ransoms for my for my uh, hard trouble. I'll ransom my prisoners. Nice 124. We did get some roguery for that. We are not rogues. We're just opportunistic knights, right? So some good woodland garments, actually. Those are pretty nice. But it feels against my knightly code to wear such things when I could have a lovely leather padded shirt that I am currently wearing. But a scarf to keep my neck warm would be quite lovely. That's what I shall wear. Um, you have a scarf on you, though, don't you? We're going to give you this. You know what? Do that, too. Everything else, though, you're looking pretty schnazzy right now, so it'll do. Um, I'll sell the rest of that. We will actually sell all of this. And can I get a better shield? Because this barn door is just terrible. A leather-bound kite shield sounds pretty much a lot better. Or a reinforced cat. Well, you know, I don't like the smaller shields. I like a, I like a larger shield, especially if I'm on horseback. I want to be able to, like, take a couple blows to that thing without worrying about it, like, uh, a blow or two kind of going into my head or anything like that. So, what we need to do here is take a look at the fact that we have not really been able to find any um, arenas. So, if you go to the arena, you enter the arena, and you come to the arena master, tournament master, I've heard of these games. I know you got games here, guy. So... Me how the tournaments work. Okay, so 
Are there any tournaments going on in any nearby towns? It looks like Cheris and Jacqueline, places we have just been to. So let us fast forward and run over to those two locations and see how this goes. It would appear that we were lied to at Cheris. There are indeed no tournaments going on at Cheris. So our next stop here will be Jacqueline. We'll fast forward this one as well and get on over to Jacqueline. We've lucked out. We actually have a tournament here. But we also have Durthurt right outside of the keep. Well, let's try to have a quick conversation with Durthurt real quick. Oh, forgive me for what may seem as an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine. So, who might you be? My name is Callard, sir. Ask your name. I am Durther, king of the Vlandians. I am lord of Sargo and Galland. <laughs> I shall mark down your name, but you shall have to earn my trust, stranger, for the world is a treacherous place, and these are treacherous times. <laughs> yes, uh, treacherous. So, uh, what is Nuretze's folly? Well... That's some, what some people call the Great Battle of Pendrake in the year 1077. Through this process, Durther goes on to tell me a little bit more about Nretze's Folly, as well as the Battle of Pendrake. He kind of tells me a little bit more about how this is actually trying to, it's tied in very heavily to the Empire and where it actually links me in this whole grand equation. Will I eventually become an individual who will help reunite the Empire, or will I lead my own kingdom? Is there something else or anything else I can help you with? <laughs> um, you know, I I must leave now, but I think that in due time, Durthard, I will come back to you and we will have a conversation about becoming a mercenary in the next episode. But I must leave for now. The pleasure to have met you. So we've met Durthard, we've found out a little bit about uh, Nuretze's folly here, and... We are on our road. We're on the way to kind of progressing this a little bit further. But let us compete here now in a grand tournament. Okay, so a pretty good setup here for this uh, this little arena. The Tournament of Jacqueline. We have with us Mavea the Wronged, Unthri, which will probably be a very challenging opponent depending on where he makes it throughout the remainder of these uh, tournament rings. And then my own scholar here is probably going to dainty way his way through this one. But I am fighting the boar champion to start off with. So let's see how this goes. And he is fast. But I am almost as fast. Oh. A stab. Okay. A stab. Aha. Take that, champion of boars. All right. So we'll skip through here. Ah, okay, so I have on three on my team. Personally, I would actually prefer to get guys like this and in these group matches on the other team, and then I try to focus them down because they can get, and especially in the early portions of the game, they can get pretty strong, um, and they're pretty hard to defeat. And of course, why wouldn't I have a bow or a crossbow? This is not going to be fun, and it's very dishonorable. But shooting a man in the back is even more dishonorable, and I've done just that. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me, lady. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Quaris. I'm sure you can forgive me. Uh, you too. Really, really, I've just done everything that whole round. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that. But that's nothing surprising. Uh, the crossbow was something I grew up with. I mean, that I've never used in my life because I'm a knight of Bretonia, and Bretonian knights don't ever use crossbows. Although we've gotten that out of the way. Let's jump to this next one. Ah, a joust. Didn't expect that one from the side, did you? Blandian infantrymen. How about this? Oh. Okay. Alright. Couching a lance can be very tricky. And I think what will really help you if you're if you're struggling to get a good couch lance hit is pressing R. 
press and catch lands. I can really see exactly where that goes just as I take out on three in a just I knew I would win. I wasn't in any way panicking. I kind of was panicking. A max bet yet again against the Vlanda Militia Veteran Spearman. I'll say that five times fast. And you can see what my head looks like from the inside, and it's terrifying. Oh! Oh, he chambered me. Oh! Oh! I, I, the bill, using the pull arm in this engagement is probably the, the most nerve-wracking thing of any of the arenas. I like using the two-handed weapons in, in uh, Batania. Uh, even the spear and shield in Kazate or over in Sturgia, or Sturgia is not as terrifying to me as the bill. The bill is, it's like two or three hits and you're gone, depending on how, where you actually make contact. So we're probably going to come uh, pretty close to ending this episode here today. Um, and I want to take a look at some things here. Kind of do some quick housekeeping. I do kind of like my helmet, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, you, ooh, that's that's a Bretonian. That is Bretonian if I've ever seen it. But let's see here. That is Dainty Midlands Palfrey. Or option. I kind of like Bretonian ponies, but I like the higher speed and the maneuverability of the Palfrey. Yeah, I, I also am really big to, or privy to the, not privy, but um, uh, I prefer the step horses a lot too, especially the, the, the upper echelon ones. But I think, we'll take a look at some armor. I think we need to work on, on upgrading our armor, and I have never seen this in the game. It's a woven leather vest, and it gives us significantly more body armor, and I've never worn it. So, that is going to be our new armor. And what a way to end the episode, right? Getting a nice new piece of shiny armor. Western Simple Spear. Fortunately, we don't have any couched lance spears. Regrettable. I've heard that leather... It's pronounced coif. It's pronounced quaff. I feel stupid for not knowing it. The, nothing else, really. I don't see much shoulder Volandian armor, but I would like to find some of that. We might have to, have to go over to the Batanian lands, find a nice pelt. That's, you know, that's somewhat Bretonian. Um, and we'll sell this helmet, get some good money here, uh, get some money here. And we'll go ahead and do that, and let's, uh, let's kind of take a look here at where we're at. So, um, we've gotten a couple levels, we were able to do a quest today, and fail another one, and we were able to lose horribly to some bandits. And this is only the second episode of the many journeys of Callard of Garamond. So be sure to check out more as we continue through this journey of the Order of the Lionhearted, as you can see our, our glorious banner here, uh, the, uh, the the banner of Bretonia itself. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this episode, about our, our next episodes to come. Are there more things you would like to see? Um, would you like to see a bigger progression from episode to episode? And when I say that, I mean, do you want me to play a little bit so that when you come into the next episode, it's not right exactly where you left off, but it's a little bit forward. Maybe like, um, I'll play for an hour and then I'll record. I'll play for an hour and then I'll record. So that way, the character is making larger bounds in each episode and you're not watching every single one in real time. Let me know if that makes sense. I think that that might make a little bit more um, fun for the continuity of the narrative campaign. And let me know if you want me to do more voices, less voices, if you want me to do more actual uh, combat here. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to we'll try to end this out on a nice nice attack on uh, some, some looters, see if we can get some more peasants. I do want to try and get a nice little contingency of, uh, of Vlandian peasants that I might never upgrade. Let's see. Yes, and we will attack this. We will, this one will be done head on to close our episode out here. And you know what? The whole the whole shebang. Go crazy. Charge. My lovely red scarlet scarf. I ride with my cavalry into the enemy. The enemy gets poked in the face. Watch out for the guy with the pitchfork, though. That guy's always a little hog wild. Aha! Over the head, stabbed at the chest. You in the in the beard. Stabbing the fro. Okay, you get your hammer out of here. My horse is gonna die from your from your carelessness. Aha, looter! 
Take that. A great win for Valandia and for the Order of the Lionhearted. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this video here today. Again, let me know in the comment section below some things you would like to see. Maybe a fix to Callard's eyes so he doesn't have the dead look of someone who's just watched someone get killed in front of them. Those are That's a thousand-yard stare. That is a terrifying thousand-yard stare. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me Give me some feedback on the episode, some things you'd like to see in the future for this. And as always, have a good one and take care.